Now, the 13WMAZ Sports Report with Marvin James, sponsored by Farah and Farah. Welcome back, sports fans. It's the second night of the opening round of GHSA State Basketball Playoffs. Let's get right to the highlights from across Central Georgia. Hey, hey you, get out the Trojans way. Peach hosting Beach in the Valley. Nice ball movement finds senior Alexia Hayward with the score off the square. Nicely done from the Lady Trojans. And then watch this laser pass from Marissa Melendez to Kelly Blackman, who connects for the and one to tie the game at 28. But late in the third quarter, Peach pulls away. Melendez rolling in the deep for three. Congratulations to coach Don Hudson and Peach County Lady Trojans. They survive in advance 61 to 46. The fellas up next, region coach of the year, Steve Cherry and the region champs hosting Calvary Day. Dylan Johnson to the rack. Whoop! There it is. Then his partner, Cam Cherry, he is also going to drive to the cup with a nice finish. And then Johnson again with the rock. He's having a great ball game. I'll get in there. Yeah, yeah. Very tough game for the Trojans, playing a four seed. But Johnson with the steal on the other end of the floor. And he's going to dish it to Alex Willock, who takes it all the way up and gets the and one. And the game came down to the wire, but Peach falls by one, 54 to 53. Southwest and Brantley County up in Macon, late fourth quarter. Patriots up big. Jamarian Leghorn to tie Brantley from well behind the arc. Ball going up on a Wednesday. Patriots lead by 20 plus. Leghorn to Brantley. He's going to fake out the defender right here. Whoop! Bang, bang, bang. And the Patriots are pouring it on. Then watch the handles here by Jamarian Leghorn. He had a ball game himself, finishes with the spin move and the hook shot. Southwest, no trouble tonight. They win 71 to 47 over Brantley County to stay alive. Ball win Bravettes looking to run it back to the title game. Surrey Clark with the mid range jumper, drain it one time for the one time over Southeast Bullock. And then more Bravettes, Zykeria Pascal, spot him if you got him. And that's good for two with the shooter's bounce. And here comes half of the Wonder Twins. Morgan Ruff in transition with the layup. Her sister Madison is approving. It's all Baldwin in this one. It's a no-doubter. Cassidy Neal, baseline drive to the short jumper. 84 to 5. That's not a typo. 84 to 5 is your final Baldwin, ladies, on a mission. And the Baldwin fellas up next, battling Southeast Bullock as well. It's the Isaiah Dennis show, corner three. Oh, yeah, give me all three of these, please. This time, Isaiah Dennis gets downhill for the reverse layup. That's pretty fancy right there. Then check out Corez Dimery. He gets out in transition for an easy layup, kissing the glass. This game a lot closer than one would think, but back to Dennis, who's on fire. He shakes off the fender, finishes a tough layup, and then 12 finishes with a baseline drive, pull-up jumper. Baldwin sweeps. The boys win as well, 59-54. to And action at the Hawk tonight. Game tied at 30. Robbie Cremati to Jalen McCrary, the senior. He connects for two of his team high, 25. Mercer takes the lead. DT, David Thomas, gets it to go from the top of the key. He had 10 points on the evening. And then the next possession, nice ball movement by the Bears. Jalen Cobb, yeah, dive in swish from the corner for three of his 15 points, and the Bears are up by three. Late first half, Alex Holt working hard in the paint. He goes glass. He had 23 points on the night as well. And the Bears pull away in the second half and win 87 to 78 is your final. Now that's it with sports. Please stay with us. The 13 WMAZ Sports Report, sponsored by Farah and Farah.